You have entered the plumbing business success zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. We, uh, my, I, I call him my son-in-law or my son because he's, uh, he's not really married my daughter yet, but um, we were <laughs> talking about this job one day uh, that he was working on. We're working on this big mobile home park, uh, you know, redoing all the gas mains and stuff. And he was working on it and it, this is a couple of months ago. We've been working on it for months, but um, it started to rain. And one of the guys jumps in the, tr like the trench started filling up and he jumped in there, pulled the pipe up and, and kind of held it up until they can get it capped off. And just for some weird reason, I said, you know, could you, could you imagine if that line, it's a, there's a four inch gas main that we're, yeah, that's going through this park. Mm. And I said, could you imagine for a second, like if, um, if that gas line got full of water, like what it would take for us to get all that water out of that thing. I mean, we, it's like 7,000 feet of pipe that we're doing. And, uh, he goes, yeah, we're the, we're the thin brown line. Yeah. And I went, wait a minute. <laughs> so that's kind of how it started. And I went, I think, I think you're onto something. And he's like, yeah, we're, we're the thin brown line. So, you know, you hear it with, you know, fire and police and all that stuff. And it's like, mm -hmm. and it's not to take away from any of that stuff, but it's like, wait a minute, what, what is, what's out there to bring us as a brotherhood, you know, whether it's plumbing or HVAC or whatever. I mean, I speak plumbing because I'm in the plumbing business, yeah, but, mm -hmm. um, so we, you know, we started talking about that for a minute and I'm like, man, I, I think we should do something for the industry. Uh, I think we mm -hmm. should uh, put something together that, um, that people can buy, be proud of, you know, cause when people look at our industry, I mean, like we don't have a lot of people coming into it, the new, new generation. Um, cause so it's kind of looked down upon, so to speak, kind of shit on basically. Right. That's where the brown light came from. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we just started talking about it. It was like, you know what, uh, I think we should put this together. Um, let's sell, you know, clothing, hats, uh, beanies, you know, all bracelets, stickers, we have all kinds of stuff. And, um, I said, let's put this together and we'll take all the proceeds to, from this and we'll give back to the industry whether it's through you know tools and and raffles and um you know which I, maybe we could do a raffle once a month on your show as well whether it's a tool or something like that um and just kind of give back um bring uh, support or sponsor uh, people that want to go to trade schools and just if we all get on this bandwagon together um we can give as much as we can back and now we can bring people into the industry and support our schools and stuff that are you know our trade schools that are teaching this so just all in all it's not it's not nothing not to you know make a profit or whatever i just want to give it all back to the to the community that served me so well and has been really really good to me well, I love, love it, man. It. I love it. It's a cool shirt. Already mm -hmm. getting comments about, mm -hmm. um, you know, cool shirt and where can I get a shirt, mm -hmm. which BJ, um, mm -hmm. that's a great question. That is a great so, question. so how, how can we pick up the gear, the thin brown line gear? Uh, so uh, you can go to um, uh, thethinbrownline.com. So uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's there we go. Where we are.